Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Monday, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News, which is always myself, Bob, and got my brother with me, Mr. Scott Tripp, a.k.a. the Crypto Beast. As you guys know by now, we like to take a couple minutes out of our day, go through some of the crypto headlines, bring them to your attention, and see what you guys think about them. Um, but before we get started, just like every other day, we like to give my brother a chance to introduce himself and also give us hype on the uh, daily market sentiment. So without further ado, Crypto Beast, take over. Well, I've always said that 45K mark was kind of like that spot I was looking for to be a bit more bullish but like i say i've seen the the bulls and the bears kind of play games like this before where they'll all of a sudden dump to short a ton of people so i guess we'll just wait and see yeah i mean i think the, the sentiment right now is still kind of um neutral but bullish neutral um I, i've seen a lot of things get pushed uh into some higher uh, lower higher lows so that's a good sign uh, for a trend reversal, so we'll keep paying attention to it. But without further ado, we'll jump right into the crypto headlines today. My first article is going to be coming from Coin Telegraph. The headline reads: Coinbase, Coinbase to reportedly buy 2.2 billion Brazilian unicorn behind Mercado Bitcoin. So Coinbase is set to continue its global acquisition strategy, reportedly buying the Brazilian company 2TM and the parent company Mercado Bitcoin. According to the information from Estado, the third largest newspaper in Brazil. And read by 212 million people, the Coinbase acquisition could be completed by next month. Negotiations for the purchase have been taken uh, place over the course of 2022. Um, the direct crypto trading is growing rapidly. Local based crypto exchange Mercado Bitcoin has seen transaction volumes increase sevenfold year on year uh, to August. So, a uh, pretty smart uh, acquisition on Coinbase's behalf by purchasing one of the hottest uh, exchanges in Brazil that a lot of people are using. So this is a uh, super bullish news to me, and we'll keep seeing. Um, we'll keep waiting to see how this unfolds as it, as the uh, partnership grows. Yeah, definitely for sure. And here's my first article: uh, Gold industry taps blockchain for supply chain management and fraud prevention. Uh, some of the most prominent organizations in the gold industry have joined forces to launch a new integrity program that utilizes blockchain technology for supply chain management, a move that intends to help market participants verify the authentication, authenticity, I can't say the word, authenticate of their bullion. London Bullion Market Association, the World Gold Council, announced Monday that they're collaborating to develop an international system of gold bar integrity, chain of custody, and provenance that's based on a blockchain technology developed by a company called A Excedra's Ampere Ledger. The ledger will be used to register and track gold bars at each state of the production distribution cycle, including mining, vaulting, and purchasing by jewelry manufacturers. The so-called gold, uh, gold bar integrity program is being supported by organizations such as CME Group, Metalore, Bear Gold, Brinks, Royal Canadian Mint, Newcrest Mining, Huntingbird Resources, Argos, Heros, SA, Ashi, Aura Minerals, Perth Mint, and others. That's amazing. That's a lot of big companies that are all buying into it. So, hello? Are you still there? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, there I you said, go. It's, it's crazy how gold starting to become like another stable for cryptocurrency. So it's pretty cool to see uh, hear that article. Uh, to jump into my second article today, Scott, we're going to go with Coin Telegraph. The headline reads: Decentralized media may represent a new future when it puts creators on top. So one of the most significant uh, issue content creators and artists face today is the lack of control. A lack of control regarding. Uh, their overall content platforms like YouTube and Twitch constantly alter the rules when it comes to the content uploads, forcing users to cater to these new algorithms if they wish to succeed. Instead of media conglomerates owning and controlling content, creators posit a different idea that the uh, media organizations should be owned by creators and consumers rather than third party third, third party intermediaries. Uh, such in a view, in a, such a view is standard in the Web three space. Unfortunately, decentralized technologies such as blockchain and cryptocurrencies enable this future. And one project, the Cardano, Ada, Ada Power of Flicto is aiming to facilitate it. Flicto is building what is called uh, D-Meme uh, or decentralized media. To Flicto, D-Meme is defined as an open source platform that allows users to pitch and fund their media projects. While creators pitch their projects on the Flicto incubator, the community is voting on the ones that they believe have the most value. Supporting projects is possibly 
uh, it's possible through staking the flick token and voting on pitches that uh, the users deem worthy. So this looks pretty cool uh, to see, you know, Cardano come in and take the initiative to, to see some of the things that's going on with content creation and things of that nature. And then to also come out with a pretty cool name. I like the name, uh, I think it's very catchy. Um, so we'll see, uh, we'll pay a little bit more attention to Flicto and D-Meme and see, see what they end up building uh, as they keep uh, growing as well. Definitely, for sure. And then here's this latest one on another hack. Hackers sync new NFT collection costing a loss of $2 million. Um, so at the start of the year, the shifters I owe nurse ambition of being a successful NFT collection with the launch of the latest project. Previous collections were met with critical acclaim with one character Vortex netting over $1 million. But repeated FUD, certainty, FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, attacks on Discord have wrecked these plans. The level of FUD attack on all new NFTs is out of control, said Andrew Brown, creator of the collection. He claims the team has put countless hours in the creation and has spent a fortune on marketing the project. So apparently what's happening is people are clicking on fake websites again, unsuspecting investors into buying fake NFTs. Uh, the leverage teams also include the use of Ill illegitimate mint links to receive payments for the fake NFTs. This isn't a surprise. It's been done lots before. And I mean, people need to learn, like, I guess there's a ton of new people into NFT investments and stuff, but they really got to know what they're doing before they invest in something like that. Yeah, man, I keep, I keep seeing these hacks and, you know, it's, it's just getting, it's getting to the point. People got to learn, man. It, you, yeah. you can't just have a, a nice thing like a board ape and then not know how to protect it. Things like that just baffle me. Like you could have $200,000 tied into something and and not really uh, pay attention to what you're doing. So um, yeah, I'm definitely tired of seeing all the hacks, but to go over to my last article today, kind of ties into what I was just talking about. Uh, there was a lot of tweeting going on this weekend with Elon Musk um, and Elon, and this headline is coming from uh, coinspeaker.com. The headline reads, Elon Musk might launch his own social media platform. Um, so the billionaire asked his 79.2 million followers on Twitter if a new social media platform is needed. In response to a user who asked when Musk would build one, he uh, he has stated that he is seriously considering it. So uh, given that Twitter serves as the de facto public town square, failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines uh, democracy. What should be done? That was his tweet. So prior to that, Elon Musk even conducted a poll last week asking that Twitter users believe that the social media platform rigor rigorously adheres to principles of free speech. As a result of the poll, 70% of the users agree that Twitter does not fully uh, follow free speech principles. Further, the billionaire asked his 79.2 million followers if his new social media platform is needed in response to a user who asked when Musk would build one. Um, so uh, Elon Musk got in the hot water in February when the, SEC, the U.S. SEC started investigating whether the stock sales by Elon and his brother Kimball uh, Musk violated inside and trading rules. Back in 2018, Musk wrote uh, a tweet saying that he secured sufficient financing for a substantial private buyer of Tesla stock around $420 a share. However, the stock fluctuated throughout the month, and there was no nothing to show the uh, fund, funding deal that the CEO mentioned. Uh, so, you know, uh, other than that, they were just kind of, I guess they wanted to kind of point out some of the things that Elon was, uh, you know, getting into some heat about with the SEC with the Tesla thing back in 2018. But here we are, Elon tweeting this weekend and just kind of saying, hey, people need their their, their right to freedom, freedom of speech. And if, if, if these uh, centralized platforms won't give them the right, then maybe I'll, I'll create one and give people the right to do one. Oh, that's it. Okay, give me one second here. I'll get the next article. This one's kind of a funny one on last night's whole escapades on the Oscars. Uh, why there's already a Will Smith slap token. In less than 24 <laughs> hours since megastar Will Smith permanently damaged his public image by slapping Chris Rock, a man half his size, the crypto sphere has launched at least two projects purporting, purporting to somehow put the event on the blockchain, despite no obvious logical connections between crypto and the slapper around the world the newly minted digital assets even to appear have generated some sales but does that mean you should pile in absolutely not and in all honesty i know you vibin have experienced uh this before and a lot of people have where say elon musk tweets certain words all of a sudden a new project pops up will smith obviously slaps chris rock there's a new project 
Putin is back. <laughs> Ukraine, there's a new project. Like people take advantage of every situation and everything to make a new product to rug pull on people, which is sad. Yeah, man, I would not, I would not, uh, you know, tell anybody that's listening to, to, you know, jump into a token because Will Smith slapped somebody. Uh, if it was a Will Smith token and he created it and actually had some utility, cool. If it's just a fun meme, I think it could do some uh, some other fun memes. I think that this one, uh, I don't think it'll last long, but uh, we'll see. But go over to the last uh, uh, part of the day, Scott. We're going to jump over to trading view. Look at the total crypto market cap. Some of the dominant strike features that we like to look at. Uh, right now, the total crypto market cap is sitting at a 2.12 trillion. This is like my sweet spot. I want to see a breakout above a really 2.22. Um, once we break the 2.2 or the 2.2 trillion, I think we'll be super bullish for the next cycle. Bitcoin dominance right now is at 42.83, and the Ethereum dominance is at 19.29. So we're starting to see the Ethereum dominance go up while the uh, Bitcoin dominance is starting to kind of. Um, uh, consolidate or go a little bit sideways, which is really healthy uh, for both cases on Bitcoin and Ethereum. But uh, guys, this is all the time we have for today. Please stay tuned to some of the announcements that we're going to be making out this week. Um, we also have a great Twitter space on Wednesday. So if you guys can make it to that. Um, but other than that, that's all the news that I have for today. Scott, you got anything else for the people? Uh, uh, not at the moment. Just keep on keeping on. Look for exciting things. And he mentioned he's met lots of people in Dubai. The last a while, I made lots of connections. Like we'll see exciting things in the near future. I think for a big one as a whole. So excited to see what the future holds for us. Yeah, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's all the time we got. So until tomorrow, guys. Peace. Peace. See you guys later.